YouTube, what's going on, baby? It's your boy Ron Real, aka Double R, back in the building, back with another video, back with another damn banger. We have two cigars that will be represented by Ezra Zion Cigar Company based out of Texas. We are going to be looking at two limited edition, two special cigars. I figured Thanksgiving Day might just give you some, might as well give you some good content. So the first cigar we're going to be looking at today is the Pecan Pie Limited Edition 2020. As I said, it's by Ezra Zion. Y'all hang tight, stay tuned, we're going to get at it. All right, so we are here with the 2020 limited edition Ezra Zion Pecan Pie. So we will get right into business. This is a five by 52 Vitola. It has an 11 year old Mexican San Andreas wrapper. And of course they don't really ever disclose their binder and fillers. All they will tell us is that the binder and filler have a, com or they have tobaccos that use to tobacco. They have tobacco in the blend that is seven to 10 years old. So, you know, we'll see how it is. Now I picked this cigar up locally. It was around $14 which is about normal for Ezra's eye and their prices of their cigars aren't really the cheapest. And that's kind of usually my biggest gripe with them. Their cigars are either really hit or miss for me. They're either really good or they're very average or just not really hitting my palate like I like them to. But I've heard from some credible people that this was a really good cigar. This is the only one I had and I was going to smoke it. Then I thought about it. I was like, man, Thanksgiving is upcoming or up and coming. So I was like, this would be a good cigar to review for Thanksgiving. So I figured why not wait until then to review the cigar. So we will do that. Now, looking at the cigar, it has some very nice, it has some visible seams, but it's a very nice looking leaf. Has a very slight tooth to it, some veins, but they're very pressed down. It's a very nice looking cigar. Very nice triple cap on it. The outermost cap is very, very noticeable, very easy to pick out where I'll be able to cut it at. Also has a uh, closed foot on this thing too. And of course, what always gets me with the Ez Ezra Zion cigars, I like the bands that they do. They're very nice. Not really getting too much on the smell other than like a barnyard kind of manure smell. That's about it. So we'll go ahead and cut this thing up and see what we got. 11 year old Mexican San Andreas wrapper. So that should be either really good or not. Now Ezra Zion is based out of Texas. They do most of their sales on their online stores where you can find most of their cigars. They there are some stores around the way, around the country that deals with uh, Ezra Zion cigars. Like I know Sir Lewis on Instagram deals with Ezra Zion cigars. Smokers Abbey, which there's a location lo located here in Memphis. There's one in Austin, Texas. There's one in Nashville. Uh, talking to my buddies, Mystical Gent, he lives in Houston, Texas. There's an area there that deals with Ezra Zion cigars too. So even though most of their cigars are very limited, you are I think there are ways that you're, you're able to find them. The only problem is they're, they're not a very big abundance of them. So the pecan pie comes out once a year. So once these are gone, you won't see them again until the, the following year. But a little bit of a restriction on the draw. I don't think it's going to be bad, but it's a, a little bit of restriction there. Getting some earth. That's pretty much it, just the earth on this. Now, as you guys know, lately I haven't been the biggest Maduro fan, unless they're, I can tell they're really well fermented or really well aged. I feel like a lot of the ones that I've been smoking in the past, probably six, seven months or so, there's just a very not pleasing, gritty, dirtiness taste to them, so. We'll see how this one is. I don't think that's going to be the case on this one. I can already tell. It tastes a lot better than most of the ones I've had recently. There's some, there some black pepper there. Probably about a seven or so. Getting some black coffee. A little bit of a mineral quality in there. So you're getting mineral, black pepper, a little black coffee, like a, a faint bread, bread quality on it too. So got a pretty good light. So we'll get through this first third. I'll come back, give you body flavor, strength, all that good stuff. So, so far, not a bad start. If we can get a little bit of sweetness in there, I think we might have us a winner. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. 
All right, so we're not all the way entirely through the first third yet, but I still wanted to kind of come and give a quick update. Probably about a half inch in, the black pepper kind of increased in a very nice manner. Starting to pick up a nice cinnamon on there, brown sugar, the sweetness that I was kind of hoping would be there is definitely there. It has a really nice finish on this. Right now, I would say, I think they rated it as a full body, full strength. Right now, I'm gonna say the body and flavor is probably on the really low side of medium to full, and the strength right now is a medium. So, still got quite a bit of cigar, so it may just actually ramp up to full we shall see burn line and draw have been very good the, there's a little bit of restriction to the draw but but it's actually working very well really nice pronounced flavors on this i will say this already right now this is one of the better maduros i've had this year as i was saying earlier just for whatever reason i don't know if it's just companies are kind of using subpar maduro or whatever the case may be but this is a, a really nice one so i could believe that this is an 11 year old it's just you could just tell it just it's just a, a really big difference when you can taste well-aged tobacco compared to tobacco that doesn't have necessarily the age on it. So just kind of wanted to give a quick update and let you know that things are going really well so far. Hopefully they'll continue to keep going up and we should have us an elite cigar. So hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed so y'all hang tight. All right, so we're working our way through this second third. Picked up a lot of nuttiness in the form of like almonds. Picked up a little bit of a creaminess. Still getting some black pepper there. Natural tobacco sweetness. The finish is long, it's a long finish as in you can taste it, but it's not very intense like some of the other cigars I've smoked in the past where it just the, the finish is long, but the flavors are really, really full. They're there and I'm tasting them, but they're just kind of like slowly fading at the same time. Again though, you know, I know a $14 cigar is not very optimal in most people's opinion, but for me, I wouldn't mind buying a couple of these at a time if they weren't so limited and just kind of smoking these because again, I think this is a very good representation of what a Maduro could be. This is a really good cigar so far. Performance has been spot on, burn line, draw has been good, no complaints. I would still say for me, the strength is medium, body and flavor is medium to full. So I'm still not detecting any real strength at all, but of course, like I've mentioned before in other videos, that stuff differs from palate to palate, person to person, but just for me, it's not that strong of a cigar, but the flavors in the body are really nice and the finish is nice on this too. So we'll keep on smoking through this last third, come back with some points. So y'all hang tight and stay tuned. All right, Double R Army, getting through this last third, still a lot of the same flavors. Starting the, earth, the earthiness is starting to pick up more. A dark chocolate is still there a little bit too. The nuttiness is still there too. Still a very good Maduro for me. This is, this is a good cigar. So we'll go ahead and score it. Again, this was a five by 52 Vitola, 11 year old Mexican San Andreas wrapper and the binder and filler have tobaccos that have aged from seven to 10 years. So pretty good blend on this one. I gave the flavor a 17 out of 20, the draw a 20 out of 20, the burn a 20 out of 20, complexity a 16 out of 20, and the strength a 16 out of 20. For me, this isn't a strong cigar, textbook medium, medium to full on body and flavor. Really enjoyable though. Again, for me, $14 is kind of hard, you, you know, it's just, it's not a cheap cigar, but for me personally, this is something I would grab two or three cigars, kind of throw them in the humidor and just smoke them from time to time, time to time. But I've been enjoying this, so no complaints at all, but this has been the Pecan Pie Limited Edition 2020 from Ezra Zion. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget the name of the game is relaxation and enjoyment, and don't forget to be driven, never motivated. We're going to catch you on this next one. Peace.